Tim Anderson is the director of the Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies, who joins us. Uh, welcome to the program, Tim Anderson. Uh, we're looking at um, some major at, uh, attacks that uh, Israel has executed in the past days, uh, looking at uh, a major attack that happened in uh, uh, Syria uh, that claimed the lives of over 30, and then uh, with this particular attack, which is uh, unprecedented in uh, not only the fact that it's attacked uh, uh, the consular services uh, or the embassy, really, uh, but that it's Iran that it has uh, uh, attacked, because that is really part of the, it's not part of uh, Syria, this is Iranian territory. What do you make of this uh, attack by Israel? Um, it's not unique. There are a number of Iranian advisors who have been targeted and assassinated by the Israelis in recent months. And I think it's part of a concerted plan by the Netanyahu regime to try and provoke Iran and it poses a dilemma because, of course, what the Israelis are looking for is an escalation which may help draw the U.S. into a war um, because, of course, the, the Israelis can't take on Iran by themselves. Um, but on the other hand, uh, it, it's very difficult. It's a dilemma really for Iran because these sort of crimes can't be left unpunished. So there's a dilemma there in terms of timing, in terms of how Iran is going to respond because this is not the first provocation. There's a number of murders that have been carried out by the Israelis and really I think uh, the, the anger amongst people around the world is, is really seething at the the number of Palestinians they're killing but also um, Syrians, Iranians, um, willy-nilly the aid workers, uh, journalists you know so I think this is a particular provocation aimed at Iran to try and get escalation really the Israelis are unique in the region of wanting escalation because they're feeling more and more isolated. Iran has uh summoned uh, the uh, U.S. representation through the Swiss um, Charged Affairs and has relayed a message to the U.S. It does hold the U.S. somewhat responsible for this. Um, do you think that the U.S. had prior knowledge of what Israel did? Um, not necessarily, not necessarily, but in a general sense, yes, because as I said, they, uh, the Israelis have been targeting Iranian advisors for quite some time in Syria. They're, they're obsessed with the idea that there's going to be a strong Iranian presence in Syria permanently and therefore on the borders of occupied Palestine. So it's not the first time it's happened. I don't know that the US would have been told in advance of this, but the, it's clearly aimed at trying to put pressure on the US through some Iranian retaliation. And up until now, Iran has been very restrained, really, incredibly restrained, really, considering the, the, the crimes that have been committed against Iranian people, Iranian advisors in Syria in particular. Hasn't uh, Israel um, risked an escalation in the region, um, which in, then in part poses the question whether it does want a distraction from the genocidal wars conducting uh, in the Gaza Strip, uh, where you have all the countries like the UAE and others who have condemned uh, this act, but yet Israel wants to risk uh, uh, somewhat of um, a uh, increase in tensions, in this case by targeting the Islamic Republic. Yes, I think it's almost unique to the Israelis, really, because um, most other sides have been very cautious. You know, the Lebanese resistance has been very targeted. The U.S. itself has not uh, directly involved, except, of course, to back up the Israelis with all the weapons that they've got. Um, the Iranians have been very cautious. So the Israelis see it in their interest, or at least the Netanyahu faction sees it in, in his interest, as you say, for a distraction, but also to try and draw in um, the U.S. in a more direct role in the region, which I don't think the U.S. I don't think the Biden administration wants to do that, particularly in an election year. They're happy to hide behind the Israelis and give support to the Israeli genocide. Well, they're not entirely happy with that. They're not happy with the image that's coming across. But I think the Israelis are unique in wanting this escalation to take, take the heat off themselves and try and get the U.S. directly involved against who, whom they see as their, their major enemies. That is to say, Iran is really the major support for the Palestinian resistance, but also for the resistance in Lebanon and, and in Iraq and, and other parts of the region. All right, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Tim Anderson, Director of the Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies from Sydney. Thank you.